Welcome to Wallatopia. Remember to register at Wallatopia.info. We send out not only the latest reviews, but also discounts from vendors we negotiate for you, our Wallatopians. And remember, this is where you go, Wallatopia, when you want to know anything and everything there's about the world of wallets. We purchase all the wallets we review. Now today is top 10. <clears throat> it's top 10 for 2020 on Mark's favorites, my favorites. Now, of course, I try to place an unbiased review on all the wallets that I review, whether I like them personally or not. And, you know, that's because there's always a wallet out there for someone. There are hundreds of wallets out there because those wallets meet the needs of individuals. Now, for me, however, uh, I will take you through the top 10 for 2020 that uh, I personally like. But before we get started, please hit the like button. And please remember that the full reviews for each of these wallets, we've already reviewed them all, are in the notes below. So now, let's get into the top 10. Here are Mark's top 10. Starting from the top left, we have the Stow Swift, then the Hellbent 3.0. To its right is the Dasselfine Mirror, which really is now the Open Seas, because that's what it means in German. That's the Hubei. We have the Dango A10, the Belroy Slim Sleeve, and then down here on the bottom, we have the X Stow. I have them both. This is the original Stow and the X Stow. Both my favorites. X Stow is the latest to come out. And then we have the Alette Leather Bifold Wallet, followed by the Taurus Camp Grain Wallet, we have the Winston from Wingback and the Travex Contour. When we do our tops, we always start out with price. Everybody wants to know what the price is to start out with. Well, how much does this cost? Well, let's look. The Trove Swift, $45. Hellbent 3.0, it's $99. The Dango A10, that's $99. That's the cost for the base, plus the single card accessory it has. The Bellroy Slim Sleeve is $79. The X Stow is $66 goes up to 68, depending on the card configuration. The Alette Leather Bifold is 45. Taurus Camp Grain Wallet, 68. The Open Seas Leather, the Hubei here, from Dasselfine Mirror, is 79. The Wingback Winston, 100. And coming in is the Heavyweight, the Travex Contour, at $158. All right, what makes each of these wallets my favorite? Well, let me explain first that I prefer minimalist wallets. That's just my preference, and I rarely carry cash and only coins when I travel. That may have come out in a lot of the comments I make uh, in some of my videos. So this list is for my everyday carry type wallet where I live, not when I travel. That's a completely different thing. Hmm, that's probably a good video too. And so well, I'll warn you that if there's leather involved, uh, I'll be smelling it probably. So anyway, let's get into the wallets. We're starting with the Trove Swift. This has been a perennial uh, for me and for a lot of reviews, a lot of comments from people. It's uh, footprint versus capacity is a really big thing for me. I like small, and when it's functional like this Swift, it's even better. I did a carry test on, a carry test on this wall, and it didn't disappoint at all. And you can see the carry test here up at the top. It's designed and made in the United Kingdom. It has two layers of bonded full grain veg tan leather. Oh yeah, still smells good after a year plus. The main elastic here is Italian, very high quality. And one concern is that it has a tendency to bend your cards over and during over time. And you know that would be the case because we have a very strong leather component in here. And as it gets out to the elastic pieces, it could cause that to happen. The pull tab grip is, is really nice. And it's rubberized here on the head. And that makes it uh, really awesome by way of being able to get it when it's in here tight, but it's not really obtrusive. And let me also mention, this is in no particular order. They're, I, they're all mixed up, not in any particular order. So now let's take a look at the Hellbent 3.0. The slimness of this wallet without the money clip, here's the money clip, it's right here, and it does add some bulk. Let me, let me show you. Put this in here, it uh, is very nice in how it adds right here. So it just slips in nicely, sits there. But to me, this adds bulk. I didn't really, I like my wallets really thin. I think I mentioned I like minimalist wallets. So that's kind of why I don't like this money clip. Even though it's a beautiful money clip, I really love this. It's not something I would probably use. Like several of the wallets here, I did a carry test on this wallet and it was great. I really liked this one. They're easy to fan out cards to get them back in. They just, it's, it's held together by really the tension of these screws here in the back. And when you want to get a card in and out, all right, I'll, I'll take an exception and use cards in here because it's just a little unique. They just slip right in. This holds. These do not come out with a lot of effort. And all you do is just grab the cards, fan them out like this, grab the one you want, you put it back in, and there you go. It's really nifty. I like this one. So even though it looks like they can fall out, they just don't because of the tension in this particular wallet. And I really, really liked uh, carrying this wallet. It may look like I'm spending a lot of time pulling cards out. You can pull them out easily. So. 
Let's get on to the next wallet. Now onto the Dango A10. I've carried a few Dango wallets and I reviewed almost all the rest. And I do like aspects of all their wallets, but for me, the A10 really provides the sweet spot for talking metal wallets from the Dango product line. It's almost all metal wallets, so they do have a couple leather, but anyway. It has reliable and thought out place to address cash, which goes in here, unlike all the other wallets. And I do like the adapt aspect of what we have here, because you can pick and choose which accessory to use. The slide and rail that we have here is very clever. It's a great platform to extend their products and the other offerings they have. And I did a recent carry test on this, as I mentioned, I really enjoyed it. You can see the carry review up here. And like other wallets, the slimmer width version of this, it's not as wide versus the other Dangos, really made this right size for me. For example, the width of the Dango A10 is only 64 millimeters versus the 74 millimeters for the traditional M2 Maverick. They also adopted the Dango rail mechanism here, as mentioned, uh, from the M1. I think they found a real, a real winner here for several products and what they can do. And that's what makes this a great wallet. Now on to the Bellroy Slim Sleeve. This is by far one of my favorites due to the ease of use, capacity to carry, what I need, and it's thin profile. It's so functional, but it's also very usable. Isn't functional and usable the same word? It might be. Anyway, it's awesome. It's very easy to use overall. By putting cash folded over once, it barely sticks out here. It, that's US currency. Again, look below for the review, uh, which has annoyed some people, but it doesn't interfere with the spine closing. So it closes just fine. I like it as it provides a way to grasp the bills as bills are hanging out a little bit. Designed in Australia, made in India. It's made from environmentally certified top grain leather, veg tan. It's double stitched in areas where the leather meets, which is really quite nice. And the layout is incredibly efficient. Two card slots here, one here, and uh, archive cards in here with this pole strap. Smells nice, does it? Oh yeah, I've had this for over a year, still smells awesome. Long term, I still have concerns about the leather being too thinly split, possibly. I mean, it really is, but it's still, I have a lot of reports that it uh, performs nicely over the years. Others that say it's problematic, but it, overall, I just love this footprint. Okay, onto the Xto, which is the successor to the Sto. It's, it's really amazing to me. Now, one of the most exciting wallets of 2020, for sure, has to be this Xto upgrade to the Sto. I'm not going to get into this one. Let's talk about the Xto. It's achieved this wonderful balance, this feature balance that sets a level of functional ex excellence that we haven't seen in a long time from any wallet, whether it's leather or whether it's uh, metal. Metal just happens to be rigid enough to provide that platform. The small and compact footprint is really what makes this attractive to me. Uh, it just, uh, it, it's excellence in how cards go in, they click, they stay, there's no way they're coming out. It's ability to handle cards and cash almost equally where cash goes on the bottom. We have this spring mechanism here that holds it in place. Really doesn't make cash a second class citizen. And it doesn't actually make it, uh, it makes it simple because the stainless steel spring at the bottom. And the cushion insert, which we used to have in the stow, is plastic. This is metal. So they've really upgraded the materials in this. It's easy to see why it's critical to the wallet functioning as it provides this upward pressure to keep cards in place so that they're up against this lip from car or from cash in the bottom. So cash on top, or sorry, cash at the bottom, cards on top. It just works brilliantly. And there's a secondary storage area right on top underneath uh, this uh, little business card holder, which you can upgrade, you know, carbon fiber, for example. I like to put my ID in here, not just business cards. You can put other cards in here to upgrade it. And so that is the x the successor to the Sto. Great wallet. You can see the review on that. Now, next one here is going to be the Let Leather Bifold, and it's big. I think you saw that in the picture. It's kind of big, so it doesn't really kind of fit the minimalist thing that I talked about, but it does. Designed and made in the United States, in California, what makes this wallet impressive is its capacity. I, and it's not just a George Costanza, mm, that's a capacity. It's its own. It, it can maintain up to 24 cards while still being very functional and incredibly thin. The leather used on the exterior is a Napa leather. That just means it carries characteristics of being very soft, which it is to the touch, and pliable. You have two areas, probably the top one here for receipts, the deeper one you can put in cash, and there's the seams are created to prevent overlapping, which helps enhance the design and the thinness. So the design ethos really is to allow inclusion of significant items without creating bulk, maintaining minimalism as best as it can, and they do that brilliantly. Now, should I sniff this one? 
It smells pretty good. It, it, it really does. Next is the Taurus Camp Grain Wallet. I really like this one. I have done a carry test on that. You'll see that if you haven't already. What really attracted me to this wallet was functional design. You can really tell when the designers work to with, put an extra effort to understand how people use a wallet so they can make refinements to their design so it makes it a better experience. And this is truly one example of that. It has an ability to keep cards for tap payment right here in the front, in this front pocket. It's really nice. I like being able to flip open this with my thumb. You just get in here and flip that open. Not hard to do, and I'm right-handed, so this works for me. The tier steps on the back thumb notches here, are, again, is a nice uh, thought here. Recognizes that instead of digging in this way, you can actually have a little bit of, of exposure to grab a card. It's a nice thinking. It may appear to be a little bigger than you expect this overall wallet, which it is because it's an eight centimeter version, which handles all currencies. They have a seven centimeter version, which is not as wide, a little thinner, not as wide. And that uh, and that feels like a right size, of course, where I live, which is in the United States, which handles Australian currency, uh, Canadian currency, and so forth. And there we go. That's a Taurus uh, Camp Grain Wallet. Now, this next one, I know we have reviewed quite a few of the Dasofin Mir, now renamed Open Sea Leather. That's just that's a translation of Dasofin Mirad from German. And this is the Hubei. Now, for those that aren't aware, I, like I mentioned, they tra they changed their name, and that's fine. I think it it'll, hopefully won't make it a challenge for people to find them. Now, I love this particular wallet for the unique design. All of Michael's designs are pretty unique, but this one encompasses everything we're looking for. Of course, we've got the unique uh, sew pattern here on the side, which is really what Michael does. This is made in the USA, or wherever Michael Bluth is stationed. He's full-time Navy, and it's made from a veg tanned full grain Italian Butero leather, and the leather comes from the Corsario Wapier Tannery in Italy. The company recommends seven to eight cards and 20 pieces of cash. Okay, that is that is really significant, very significant. That's a lot of cash to stuff in this thing because it is a wrap. Cash goes in here, comes up, folds over. 10, I think, is very reasonable on this. It does not work with yen or euro, just US, Canadian, Australian. Uh, I hope that there's a different version that can work with those currencies in the future. And this unique design just makes the Hubei a joy to use. Again, another, uh, it's got the the uh, flap insert here, card slot, card slot, quick access card slot here. I mean, everything I could ask for in a wallet and the footprint is very reasonable. Now, of course, the smell of this one, yeah, th this is just amazing. You just can't miss that quality of the leather that comes in here. I can't get enough of it anyway. So let's move on to the next one, which is the Wingback Winston. There are similar wallets like this. So uh, one that we've we have an open back. Well, let me show you. It's the open back here that uh, I, I, I'm kind of beginning to like with bifold wallets. And the reason why is you don't have any extra leather that's involved here. You have quick access to your, your cash. It's really not a problem. No secondary layer of billfold. The Royk wallets and the Octovo wallets we reviewed also do this. I like this one in particular due to several reasons. One is the refinement in the construction and the finishing elements. The weight of the leather is just perfect. The thickness and, it use, and he uses uh, different weights depending on application, which I really like. Feels very elegant, simplicity, very tight footprint. There's really nothing sloppy with this wallet. And I really love how the edges are beveled uh, right here at the top. You can see the beveling and of course the painting on all other edges. It's just this kind of attention to detail that brings a lot of class elegance to this uh, carry. It's designed and manufactured in the United Kingdom. And like I said, it's made from full grain veg tan leather. It's environmentally certified. It's it's all really good. And the hand sewn wallet, it uses uh, a Guterman thread from Germany. Again, quality all the way through this. And uh, it's really made from just three pieces of leather. As you can see, we have the main piece in the back. It folds up under the bottom to here. And then on the inside, we have the other two pieces that form the rear pockets. Very clever and very clean. It reduces a lot of the sewing requirements and it just uh, gives some nice texture. And that is the Winston from Wingback. Now let's look at the Travex Contour. All Travex wallets are unique and require a level of engagement, learning, understanding with their designs that require mental application. They don't necessarily come easy in some cases. And uh, this either leaves their wallets as too difficult to use for people or endearing for their special features. You know me, I'm kind of all about a don't make me think situation. Now, all of Trayvax wallets, of all of them, this is my favorite. And it's a little involved, but I like it. The quality of the materials makes this a solid wallet. Not too big, but very capable. Designed and handmade in the United States, CNC'd machine stainless steel plate. We have Horween leather here, which is a top grain oil tanned leather made in Chicago. It's just fantastic. The quality just oozes through this. 
once you get your ha the hang of the hex screw that uh, is here, you're, you're able to understand how this all fits. And again, this is your capacity for cards that go in here. You also have cash that's store storable right here by folding it. It, it just provides the functionality and it's just really kind of cool and here we are back to our selection that we went through real quick next thing to be size let's look at the size of each of these laying those out there take a look you can see how close some of these come by way of size others not so much you can just tell visually what we have here between all of these wallets and it helps you decide wow compared to the others here which ones would be more appropriate in my pocket now let's look at the weight of each of these because some of these are light some of these aren't quite so much and here we have the weight of course, the 12 Swift, 18 grams, Hellbent 73, Dango 65, uh, the Bellroy Slim Sleeve 27. They're really kind of all over the map, but obviously if there's metal involved, it makes it quite heavy. So all of these wallets provide uh, their own size and weight comparisons uh, that help you understand what might be appropriate for you. There you go, that was quick. That just wraps up our look at my personal top 10 wallets of 2020. If any of these interest you, you know, please look at the notes below, appreciate that. And thank you for being with us during the year 2020. It's been one of one of those years, hasn't it, for everybody involved. But I have really enjoyed interacting with all of you in emails and comments. And it's just been a pleasure. Thank you so much for being part of the Wallatopian community. Yeah, and if you want to see all the rankings for these wallets compared to everything else, go to wallatopia.info slash rankings. And we will see you in the next review. Bye.